Hey, welcome to Math Life Balance. On this channel, I'm doing interviews with mathematicians. And one of my previous interviewees has recommended me an essay that made a strong impression on me. So today I'd like to share it with you. By the way, I'd be curious to read or watch more material related to reflection on math research. So if you have any good recommendations, leave them in the comments below or send me an email. William Thurston was an American mathematician, a Fields medalist who worked in low dimensional topology. And in 1994, he published an essay on proof and progress in mathematics. While I strongly recommend you to read the whole essay, today I will only read one part of it. And I hope that you enjoy it. What motivates people to do mathematics? There is a real joy in doing mathematics, in learning ways of thinking that explain and organize and simplify. One can feel this joy when discovering new mathematics, rediscovering old mathematics, learning a way of thinking from a person or text, or finding a new way to explain or to view an old mathematical structure. This inner motivation might lead us to think that we do mathematics solely for its own sake. That's not true. The social setting is extremely important. We are inspired by other people, we seek appreciation by other people, and we like to help other people solve their mathematical problems. What we enjoy changes in response to other people. Social interactions occur through face-to-face -face meetings, written and electronic correspondence, preprints, and journal articles. One effect of this highly social system of mathematics is the tendency of mathematicians to follow facts. For the purpose of producing new mathematical theorems, this is probably not very efficient. We'd seem to be better off having mathematicians cover the intellectual field much more evenly. But most mathematicians don't like to be lonely, and they have trouble staying excited about a subject, even if they're personally making progress, unless they have colleagues who share their excitement. In addition to our inner motivation and our informal social motivation for doing mathematics, we are driven by considerations of economics and status. Mathematicians, like other academics, do a lot of judging and being judged. Starting with grades and continuing through letters of recommendation, hiring decisions, promotion decisions, referee reports, invitations to speak, prizes, etc., we are involved in many ratings in a fiercely competitive system. I think that our strong communal emphasis on theorem credits has a negative effect on mathematical progress. If what we are accomplishing is advancing human understanding of mathematics, then we would be much better off recognizing and valuing a far broader range of activity. The people who see the way to proving theorems are doing it in the context of a mathematical community. They are not doing it on their own. They depend on understanding of mathematics that they glean from other mathematicians. Once a theorem has been proven, the mathematical community depends on the social network to distribute the ideas to people who might use them further. Even if one takes the narrow view that what we are producing is theorems, the team is important. Soccer can serve as a metaphor. There might only be one or two goals during a soccer game made by one or two persons. That does not mean that the efforts of all the others are wasted. We do not judge players on a soccer team only by whether they personally make a goal. We judge the team by its function as a team. In mathematics, it often happens that a group of mathematicians advances with a certain collection of ideas. There are theorems in the path of these advances that will almost inevitably be proven by one person or another. Sometimes the group of mathematicians can even anticipate what these theorems are likely to be. It is much harder to predict who will actually prove the theorem, although there are usually a few point people who are more likely to score. However, they are in a position to prove those theorems because of the collective efforts of the team. Even if one person could prove all the theorems in the path single-handedly, they are wasted if nobody else learns them. The entire mathematical community would become much more productive if we open our eyes to the real values in what we're doing. What we are producing is human understanding. We have many different ways to understand and many different processes that contribute to our understanding. We will be more satisfied, more productive and happier if we recognize and focus on this. I think this essay provides an outstanding validation of the everyday work of a mathematician. Because in my experience, the days when you think, oh, today I proved a theorem, are quite seldom. However, you contribute to advancing understanding of mathematics on a daily basis. This may be your own understanding or understanding of other people. 
and Thurston's perspective on progress and contributions in mathematics can really help you to feel better about your work and, as he writes, to be happier as a mathematician. I tried it myself and honestly, it does wonders. What you may not realize right away is that this tubing has magical properties. It creates a singularity in the fabric of the universe. 